Hey, what's happening everyone? Journeyman here and welcome back to Western Not So Superman. In today's episode, we take on Kidder's Minster Harriers as we try to correct our poor winner form. Hey everyone, once again, welcome back to Western Not So Supermare. So there's been one single game in between the last episode and today, and that was a 2-0 defeat up against Alder Shot, as you can see. Um, we played okay, really. We didn't really create that many opportunities. And unfortunately, uh, Lawrence McGuire was sent off in the 79th minute after Callum Reynolds got a penalty, and it essentially killed the game for us. So right now, we are struggling for form a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit up and down. We had a couple of good wins in there against Epsley and AFC Flight, but we need to get back to winning ways desperately. And today we're up against Kidder's Minter team that are currently first in the table. Uh, as you can see, we are currently 18th as, uh, with six points at the bottom, and then uh, Kidder's Minter right now are currently unbeaten. So we definitely got an uphill battle today. Take a look at the Kidder's Minter team, who has been playing well for them this season. So it looks like this guy, Emmanuel uh, D. So Ruve? Sure, we'll go with that. Good classic English name. Uh, as Southwest scored eight goals in six games this season, he's dominating the league. Uh, then you have Richard Mills on the right, who's having a good season. He is on loan from MK Dons. And uh, let me see who else is playing, playing well. Keith Lowe at the back. Brandon Griffiths has a couple goals to them as well. So it looks like they have one primary threat, and that's going to be Emmanuel up top. So if we can neutralize him, we may have half a chance in today's game. So let's go into today's uh, uh, team news real quick. As you can see, Adam P is going to start in goal. We are without Marco Dulce and Will Britt uh, and Lawrence Maguire. Dulce and Britt on international duty with Maguire being suspended for today's game. So um, obviously we've got Agent, uh, as an Agent P, Adam P in goal with uh, Kane Smith on the right. Cadman, Devine and Turner all finish up the back line with Fahad, Conlon, Fitzgerald in midfield with Jenkins return to the side ahead of Alves with Wedderburn and Josh Cook leading the line. So um, as you can see, scoring goals has been a huge issue for us this season. Wies Wedderburn is still our top goal scorer of only two goals to his name. And then otherwise, Connor Harris with one, Dulce with one, and then Kane Smith with the other. So we desperately need to find a way to score goals. And obviously, if we can stop uh, that Emmanuel guy, we stand half a chance. All right, so I'm going to let my assistant manager do a team talk uh, for today's game. Not something I usually do, but I'm going to make him do it today. And as you can see, our morale is also very, very low. So I'm going to use a little bit of a cheese tactic to uh, try and improve morale. And it worked a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see, though. Hopefully, they'll make an impact in today's game and we'll get a positive result. All right, so we're 20 minutes here. First highlight of the game. Let's see if it will become, let's see if it'll go for us, go to us. Uh, Conlon. See what he can do over here. Not many options there. Not many players are open. He plays it back to Cadman. Cadman plays it back all the way up to Adam. Adam hits it long. Looking for Cook. Can't find him. And uh, Emmanuel get deflected there. Ball cross into Brandon Griffiths, who should have scored there, but a great challenge there from Daniel Devine. That goes down as a clear cut chance for Kidders Minster. And we should be 1 0 down. Mills is going to whip this in. Lower the header, and that goes narrowly wide as well. Poor defending from the uh, set piece there. And that was a free header for Lowe, who uh, probably should have at least hit the target. All right, 31 minutes here. Here's another highlight. Jenkins brings the ball down to Fahad. Fahad to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, a right to Roturner. Roturner looking for the runner. Rodeburn, he finds him. Rodeburn's going to pull it back to Jenkins. He scores. James Jenkins gets in the first goal of the season. He's had a terrible start to the year, um, but he's made up for it there with a goal. Uh, from a Weiss Wedderburn pullback. Take another look at this highlight real quick. Wedderburn does really well to get to the byline, pulls it back, and Jenkins, lovely little side foot there. Reminiscence of last season's success when he won the Player of the Year award. Great goal there from James Jenkins, and 1-0 to the goals. All right, here's maybe another chance. Going 2-0 up will be great, but we don't have the ball back. We've got to win it back quickly, because uh, Kittersman's that can get us on the break here. Ball's hit long. Cabin does well on the uh, on the defensive recovery. Adam's going to bring this ball forward. Fahad to Fitzgerald. Back to Wedderburn. Cook. Nice build-up play here. Wedderburn inside to Cook. Cook to Jenkins. Jenkins the ball cheaply. And Devine does well to win the header. But the danger is not quite over yet. Low to Griffiths. He's through to Mills. Mills is through on goal. The on loan player pulls it back to Emmanuel. Who scores. He makes it 1-1. We talked about him in the start of the game. Danger man. That's his ninth goal of the season. He's equalized just on the eve of halftime here. Terrible time to concede from the boys. 
Honestly, I was hoping we'd at least hold on to half time, then we'll maybe have maybe uh, adjust things, but uh, unlucky. Okay, so we're moving on, going into the half time. Can give these guys a little bit of a morale boost. We're not playing too badly so far. They've had a couple of opportunities, um, but so have we. So this game is pretty much in the balance at 1 1, as you would expect. But uh, let's hope we can go into the second half and let's see if we can snatch a victory. All right, so here's an early opportunity for someone. Hancock springs it forward. Uh, Narby for Kittersminster. He turns to Hancock. They seem, they seem to have so much time on the ball. I've got to work on that. Ball's hit long here. Wedderburn's through on goal. Let's see if we can score. Wedderburn shoots and scores. Gets in there. Weiss Wedderburn gets his third goal of the season. Uh, great finish from a through ball from James Fitzgerald. And uh, <clears throat> we're back in the lead here. 2-1 early in the second half. Well spotted there for Fitzgerald. Puts the ball through. Weiss Wedderburn. Uh, and a great finish there on the inside of his foot, past the goalkeeper, making it 2-1. All right, so 60 minutes on the clock here. Here's another highlight. Uh, Wedderburn holds the ball up nicely, finds Kane Smith. He's been quiet so far today. Jenkins to Fahad. Fahad's through on goal. He scores, Jeff. Fahad gets a goal there. First goal of the season. Laid off there from James Jenkins. He's had a wonderful game back in the attacking midfield role after being dropped for a few weeks. Great through ball. And Fahad with a lovely side foot into the roof of the net, making it 3-1. All right, so let's get these boys under control here. Let's tell them to concentrate. Make sure we don't concede a stupid goal because obviously that will get Kittersman to right back in it. I'm also thinking of making a quick change up top as well. We have options on the bench today, which is great. So I'm going to bring off Josh Cook. Connor Harris is going to bring on instead. Conlon, I'm not going to take him off. He's a very important piece in midfield. I can't uh, I can't afford to, uh, to not play him today. All right, so Smith back to Conlon. Hits it long. Gives it away cheaply. Smith does well to bring the ball back. Here's Jenkins again. He finds Wedderburn. Wedderburn goes past his man. Shoots and scores. 4-1. Gets in there. Weiss Wedderburn gets his uh, second goal of the game there and fourth goal of the season. And another assist for James Jenkins. He's having an absolute blinder in the uh, attacking midfield position. Weiss Wedderburn uh, tucks it away nicely with such confidence. And that's 4-1. There's a chance to have a kid into the snatch back and it hits the crossbar and a good solid save there from Adam. All right, so 76 minutes on the clock. I am now going to bring off Conlon because we are got a three goal cushion. So that should be enough to see, uh, see us win today. All right, a few minutes left to go here in the game itself. It is still 4-1. So this is going to be a very comfortable victory at the end of it. Obviously, the, the teams are pretty well evenly matched, to be honest with you. Maybe here's a late chance for Kittersminster to salvage something from the game. But uh, it's been a pretty even match. If you look at the match stats in the top left-hand corner, six shots each. They had more clear-cut chances than we did. But uh, we made it count, so that's all that matters. Here's maybe another chance. Jenkins looking for Harris. Can't find him. Jenkins got another crack at this, but it gives it away cheaply to Mills. And it sets up a quick counter-attack for Kittersminster, but I don't think there's going to be enough time left to do anything with it. Ball's hit forward, and that should be the full-time whistle right there. Yep, there it is. Full-time whistle blows at Agra. We uh, beat Kittersminster Harriers 4-1. Amazing results. Completely something I did not expect today. I really expected a tough game with a likely result as a defeat. All right, so that was a great result. Well played from the boys today. Excellent, excellent victory. So uh, with that result, it moves us now up to 13th in the table with only negative one goal difference. So the hope of finishing in a uh, good up mid, up and mid-table finish is still on the cards. Uh, naturally, it is still early on. There's a lot of football left to play. Uh, with that in mind, let's talk about the next fixture. So up against Maidstone, Grimsby, Barrow, Sutton, York, uh, Lincoln, and then Southport in the upcoming game. So let's pick a fixture for the next one. I'm tempted to go with Grimsby, to be honest with you. They're a big club down here at the uh, Van Armour National League, but so are Sutton United. So you know what? I'm going to go with Sutton United in the next fixture, and that's going to be the few games for now. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. If you did, remember to drop a like, and if you want to see more videos from me, remember to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.